Welcome to the Home Instead Senior Care Family Caregiver Training Program on Parkinson's Disease. At the end of this class, you will be able to describe the symptoms of Parkinson's disease and list ways that family caregivers can support a client living with Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease results from the gradual degeneration of brain cells that produce dopamine in the portion of the midbrain that controls body movements. Dopamine is a chemical that relays messages to control movements in the human body. When approximately 60 to 80 percent of the dopamine producing cells are damaged and do not produce enough dopamine, the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease appear. The first signs are likely barely noticeable, a feeling of weakness or stiffness in one limb, or a hand trembling when it is at rest. Eventually, the shaking or tremor worsens and spreads. Muscles become stiff, movements slow down, and balance and coordination deteriorate. As the disease progresses, depression, cognitive issues, and other mental or emotional problems are common. Symptoms vary from person to person, but generally there are four main motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease. First is shaking or tremor while at rest. Second, slowness of movement, called bradykinesia. Third, stiffness or rigidity of the arms, legs, or trunk. And fourth, trouble with balance and falls. Other symptoms of Parkinson's disease include depression, anxiety, or irritability, cognitive changes including attention span, memory problems, personality changes, and psychosis or hallucinations, lightheadedness or low blood pressure upon standing, constipation, excessive sweating especially of the hands and feet, dry skin, urinary urgency, frequency and incontinence, a loss of the sense of smell, sleep disorders, pain, tightness, tingling, burning, micrographia, or small cramped handwriting, reduced arm swing, slight foot drag on affected side creating a shuffled walk, freezing, the phenomenon of being stuck in place when attempting to walk, hypomimia, the loss of facial expression due to the rigidity of the facial muscles, hypophonia, the low voice uh, volume or muffled speech, retropulsion, which is the tendency to fall backwards, and decreased ability in automatic reflexes, such as blinking and swallowing. Common eye problems include blurred vision or difficulty focusing, and it may be due to difficulty in moving the eyes or side effects of some medications. Double vision, excessive tearing, dry eyes, difficulty differentiating between slightly different colors, depth perception, hallucinations, blepharospasia, that's the involuntary spasm of the eyelids, astophonia, which is the weakness of fatigue of the eyes, and photophobia, which is a sensitivity to bright light. There are treatments for Parkinson's disease. People with Parkinson's disease can be treated with medication and in some cases surgery. Medications help restore the brain's chemical balance. Medications must be taken on a regular schedule to work properly. If a client forgets to take the medication, she can experience more difficulty with movement or an increase in other symptoms. A person with Parkinson's disease may experience pain caused by a variety of reasons. Aching and muscle pain from muscle rigidity and stiffness. Sitting or sleeping in the same position for a long period of time because it's difficult to move. Other chronic conditions such as arthritis. Be aware of your loved one's level of pain and contact your loved one's physician if it becomes severe. Medications may cause discomforting side effects, for example, wiggling or a dancing motion. If the side effects worsen, contact your loved one's physician. A physician may refer someone with Parkinson's disease to a physical therapist to restore normal body alignment and enhance balance or motor, or motor responses. Regular exercise as directed by the client's physician and eating well-balanced meals may also help decrease the severity of the symptoms. Bathing regularly may boost your loved one's self-esteem and their willingness to participate in activities outside of the home. Bathing can be challenging for a person with Parkinson's disease and may require assistance. Always allow your loved one to do as much as they can. Here are several tips to help your loved one bathe. Provide privacy. Use a transfer bench to assist your loved one in and out of the tub. Use a shower chair so a client can sit while bathing. 
Encourage your loved one to dry off using several small towels rather than one large towel. Smaller towels can be easier to handle. Ask your loved one to use handrails in the bathtub or shower for stability. Check for a non-skid rubber bath mat prior to bathing. All rugs should have a rubber backing. Encourage your loved one to use liquid soaps or soap on a rope. Do not use bar soap. It can be slippery and hard to hold. If a bar soap is the only option, cut one leg off a pair of nylons. Drop the soap into the leg and tie the other end to the handrail. Your loved one can lather up through the nylon without dropping it. You may be asked to help your loved one in the restroom. It is important to treat your loved one with dignity and respect. Allow your loved one to do as much as they can for themselves. Provide privacy, but stay close to the restroom in case they require assistance. Here are some other helpful tips. Try to establish a regular bathroom schedule. Avoid caffeinated drinks such as coffee, tea, and soda, which can worsen urinary problems. Limit fluid intake two hours prior to bedtime. Encourage your loved one to use pads or other incontinent products if they are prone to accidents or can't be near a bathroom. Allow plenty of time to use the toilet. Offer your loved one a bell to ring to alert you when they need help. Offer your loved one a urinal, bedpan, or commode to use at night to help reduce bathroom trips and to reduce falls. To maintain your loved one's independence and quality of life, it may be important for her to get dressed each day, even if she's not leaving the home. Here are some helpful tips. Allow your loved one to do as much as she can. Allow plenty of time for dressing. Rushing your loved ones can lead to stress and frustration. Encourage your loved one to sit down when dressing. Choose a chair with firm support and arms. And do not sit on the edge of the bed. This can lead to a loss of balance and falling. Use a footstool to make it easier to put on shoes and socks. Choose clothing with fewer buttons, zippers, and other closures that can be difficult to use. Ask your loved ones to wear pants with elastic waistbands. They're easier to put on than zipper or button pants. Avoid pants with elastic ankle bands, such as sweatpants. Replace buttons with Velcro. Encourage your loved one to wear loose-fitting clothing made of stretchy fabric. It's easier to put on and may be more comfortable. Avoid socks with tight elastic bands. Ask your loved one to wear non-skid socks instead of slippers that can slide off, causing a fall. Suggest wearing Velcro shoes or elastic shoelaces. It's easier to put on and take these shoes off. Ask your loved one to wear low or flat-heeled shoes instead of high-heeled shoes to improve stability and prevent falls. Here are some eating tips. A well-balanced diet is very important for a person with Parkinson's disease as it can decrease symptoms. Parkinson's disease may cause challenges with self-feeding, problems swallowing, feeling full quickly, dry mouth, and excess saliva. Here are some ideas. Cut food into bite-sized pieces so it's easier to chew and swallow. If your loved one has swallowing problems, ask her to avoid drinking thin liquids or use a straw to prevent choking. Encourage your loved one to sit as straight as possible and stay upright for at least 30 minutes after each meal. Be patient. A person with Parkinson's disease may take longer to eat. So provide smaller, more frequent meals rather than three large meals per day. Ask your loved one to eat well-balanced meals and drink fluids throughout the day. Follow your loved one's physician's instructions regarding diet restrictions and making mealtime safe. Here are some mobility tips. Parkinson's disease leads to rigidity, impaired balance, and slowness of movement or freezing. Even when someone with Parkinson's disease foresees a potential hazard, they may not respond quickly. As the condition progresses, the client may shuffle their feet while walking because they're unable to lift their legs. So here are some tips. Make sure pathways are well lit and free of clutter, such as shoes and clothes and newspapers, and encourage your loved one to use a handrail in the bathroom and in bed to assist with turning over and getting in and out. Getting into bed can be challenging. Use a satin sheet or piece of satin material tucked across the middle of the bed. It can make easier turning for the client. Flannel sheets and heavy blankets can make turning in bed more difficult, so avoid them. Ask the client to back up to the bed as she would approach a chair until her legs touch the mattress. With the help of her arms, slowly sit down on the bed. Leaning on the forearms on the side she plans to lay on, the client move her torso down to the bed. She may need assistance moving her legs. Use cushions and pillows to comfortably support the client in bed. 
and keep blankets over the client's feet loose to make turning easier. Getting out of bed can also be a challenge. So ask the client to bend their knees with their feet flat on the bed. The client can then roll on her side toward the edge of the bed by letting the knees fall to that side. Reach the arm furthest from the edge of the bed across the body and swing the legs from the bed while the client pushes with her arms into a sitting position. Getting up from a chair can also be challenging, but there are steps to use to complete the task. Allow plenty of time for your loved one to prepare herself to feel comfortable to stand. Never rush this process. If your loved one is in a wheelchair, lock the wheels. The person's feet need to be flat on the ground, shoulder distance apart. Encourage your loved one to use solid chairs with armrests. Ask your loved one to lean forward, nose over toes. Avoid pulling on the person's arms or shoulders to help them up. Use a transfer or a gate belt to assist them out of the chair if necessary. Note, if one Parkinson's disease symptom is loss of balance, always stay close to your loved one to prevent falls. Fall prevention is important. As the disease progresses, often the frequency and severity of falls increases. With time, a person loses confidence and becomes more prone to falling by second-guessing movements and counter-movements when standing and walking. Visual problems should be considered as a possible cause of falls in Parkinson's disease. Fall injuries are a common cause for hospitalization for people that have Parkinson's disease. Frequent falls may lead to repeated fractures and other soft tissue injury. Fractures can lead to longer periods of immobilization, which can cause depression and loss of confidence. A symptom of Parkinson's disease mentioned earlier is freezing, the involuntary ability to move temporarily. If your loved one is experiencing this, encourage them to relax and then count aloud to help the client get started again. Here are some fall prevention tips. Remove clutter from pathways. Encourage the client to use walking aids like canes or walkers. Do not use small rugs. Allow enough space to walk around furniture. Encourage the client to use handrails. Suggest the client keep one hand free when walking to allow her to grab onto a sturdy object to stop a fall. Minimize distractions and help the client focus while walking and allow plenty of time for activities and tasks. There are some assistive devices that can help a person with Parkinson's disease and all of these devices are available at Koppel Direct Home Care Supply. People with Parkinson's may find these assistive devices regularly helpful. Let's look at some of them. You have scoop plates, like the blue plate here, which allows a person with Parkinson's to drag the food across the plate and then scoop it onto their uh, eating device. We have a rocker knife, a knife designed to rock back and forth as opposed to a forward-backwards movement, which is easier for someone with Parkinson's disease. Easy to hold angled utensils are good for helping someone pick things up. We also have large handled utensils, which are designed for people that have arthritis as well. Nosy cups are designed to have one side of the cup cut down to make it easier to drink fluids without tipping the head backwards. Spill-proof cups are great for tremors. Large handled toothbrushes are good to allow a person to continue to brush their teeth and be independent. And of course, non-slip pads are designed to help a person not have a, uh, a plate or device slip off of a table. Remember that your family will have emotional needs. It's important to listen and empathize. Encourage your loved one to talk about how they're feeling and what concerns or fears they may have. Make a date to plan some outings like a lunch or a short shopping trip or time to read together to give your family member a chance to take a break. And also practice relaxation together. Practice deep breathing. Practice prayer and meditation. And ask for help. You can also get help as a caregiver to take time to exercise, which is essential to maintain the physical stamina you need to be a caregiver, and it provides a break during your day. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Stay social. Isolation can be a difficulty for caregivers, so you should schedule regular outings with friends, even if it's something brief. At this time, you want to review the Parkinson's disease quiz, complete it, and submit it for